Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my stream. I am the number one streamer, the number one round streamer, the number one frange streamer, Doodle Lafrange. Do 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 dude Lafrange. What? Wait, who was it? <laughs> there was someone last night that thought that my name was like dude dude Lafrange. Uh, <laughs> for the longest time, and I thought that was actually a a better name than my current name. Well, what in sunglasses, right? Don't I look so cool? I thought that since we're trying to get a girlfriend today, we gotta look cool for the ladies. But hello everyone, hello. Let me say hi to everyone who's come in. Hello Bebop, hello Cabal, hello Koro, hello Jello, and hello Inferno. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a good day so far. It's still quite early. Well, 2 p.m. is, is still quite early for me. I just woke up like an hour and a half ago, but... <laughs> Boba Frange, yes. Remember when you could, um... Wait, can you still do this? Remember when you could do that point redeem that was like, augment or, uh, um, edit a sub emo, and you could put Boba next to the emo? You could put sunglasses and a Boba on the emo. Not at the same time, though, but that was a pretty neat feature. I'm not sure if they still let you do that. A dude le fromage. <laughs> a dude le frottage? No, never mind. No, no. That's that's cursed. That's really cursed. <laughs> ancient shades? No, nah, these aren't ancient. These are coming back in style. Have you heard like a lot of like old school stuff is coming back in style? Fromage is Oh, fromage. Ah. Oh, okay. You might pick up a nice bingo, Granny. Hey, hey, this is- I'm totally attractive to the younger ladies, too. The 20s, 30s, the 20s, 30s ladies, they- they love the boba in the sunglasses frange. I'm ready for cute Cyclops as well, she's really wholesome. They don't let you do that? Oh, Twitch, come on. That was a really nice, uh, feature. Let's see. Choose an emote. Choose an emote to update? Or am I doing the wrong one? Yeah, wholesome, cute Cyclops girl. I just want to give her a head pat. And I just want to, oh, modify a single emote. Cake. Yeah, you can't put a, you can't put a, um, bobo with it anymore. Oh my God. I just made this. Hey, don't bonk me! I just made this, I put sunglasses on my cake! Also, one second, I'm gonna move my mic a little bit lower. <laughs> yeah, do a little thinking on the cake. Pondering the cake. <laughs> yeah, I wanna just give her a hug and be her friend, too. I think we end up dating her in this, but main character is a high schooler, so... That makes sense. He probably has a crush on her. Wait, squished? I just squished my ass. <laughs> Beach cakes cake with sunshades. Cake with sunshades, pondering the cake. I am drinking something right now. I'm drinking some coffee. It's black coffee with like a tiny bit of milk. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry. You guys got to hear the. All right. <laughs> Flat cake. Doodle squishing their ass live in 4K. And, and you put the sunglasses on the sunglasses. We got two layers of sunglasses there. That's so <laughs> we're extra cool. Yeah, they became flapjacks. My cake, my cake, my large ass cake sat on my cake and it became black flapjacks. <laughs> but yeah, I got these glasses and I got the boba. I was trying to figure out how to put on these glasses because as you can imagine, these glasses are not made for my face. <laughs> They're not made for someone who does not have a nose. 
So I tried to, I think this looks pretty cool. There's also the option of like making them really tiny glasses, which I think I've done in the past. I think I've put on glasses, I put glasses on my model and made them like really tiny. Yeah, two fronge cakes bakes a stack of flapjacks. The two stack from uh, your favorite diner. Yeah, my non-ears to my non-nose and non-head. My head being my body. <laughs> but I made it work. Oh yeah, we're listening to some more uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze OST because I figured we started it yesterday. Might as well continue. We're probably going to be, if we if we listen to the whole thing, we're going to be listening to this for a very many streams because this playlist is four hours long. This song is really nice, though. I really like this song. I do not know this song, though. Bless myself. DK music is excellent. I'm learning that now. I haven't really heard any DK music other than the meme music, but this playlist has been pretty solid so far. Thank you, Cabal! Thank you! But, um... So yeah, happy Saturday. Let's start the game, just because I am, um... I have a lot of stuff I need to do today. I have a lot of stuff. Not, not a lot, a lot, but like, um... More than usual. Because I am, I am personally looking forward to PPV, but if that doesn't end up happening, I am looking forward to CZ's uh, wrestling stream as well. And then, yeah, so I have to like, I'm visiting my mom. Uh, tonight I'm sleeping over at my old place, so sometime in between PPV or during PPV, I'll see. Uh, but before CZ stream, um, I need to drive back to my place, so I might be missing part of it, but... <laughs> Tried to make two qu cakes squish you, but hmm. Yeah, it's not squishing in the right way. Isn't there any way to do a horizontal squish? Also, I'm looking this way because I put chat on my, uh... On my other screen. Let's see. Can you do horizontal? No, you can't do a horizontal squish. You can only do a... Wait, that is a horizontal squish, but you can't do a vertical squish. Actually, I think maybe I can put it on this screen and then the game... The game isn't that big. Yeah, the game isn't that big, so it should be fine. You're late again. Please don't dock my hours. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it, but you're cutting it close, JJ. You're cutting it close. All right, there it is. But hey, JJ, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day so far. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So we got the game up here. Let me take a little sip of water. Hello! <laughs> hey, JJ! Oh, I got a little... I need a little tissue. <laughs> little frange blowing their nose ASMR. But what nose are they blowing? Thank you for the hat pad! <laughs> Don't y'all ever hate, like, drinking coffee and then you get to the very bottom and you can taste, like, the grains are there and you accidentally swallow the grains a little bit if you're not careful? <laughs> Disgusting. How many damn noses do I have? At negative infinity. Negative infinity noses. Alright, let's load from our previous save. So I think, um, what was it? What happened last time? So let me turn up the volume a bit because this game's music is a bit low. But let me know if you guys can't hear anything or if it's too loud. Also, I just noticed you guys can see the green screen behind my sunglasses. <laughs> I just noticed that. But um, 
<laughs> so what happened last time was we were trying to make friends with the Cyclops girl. Uh, we lent her manga. She really liked it. We met her aunt, who seems very cold. Uh, and then we met her bully. I forget the bully's name, but we had like a... We had like a, an argument with her. So I forget. I forget if this is right after that. Four nubs. Yeah, I do have four nubs. I got the two front ones and the two back ones. About two weeks have passed. I met Sachi for lunch on the stairway that leads up to the roof every day, and she's gone through the countless manga and novels. We've also gone to and from school together when we could. Sachi hasn't asked for help since the day I offered it to her, but even still, every now and then I go around to her classroom to meet her. Of course, I try not to draw attention to myself anymore and just go to retrieve Sachi as quickly as I can. Even though Sachi's free from Sadokawa, I think she's still worried about being bullied. Okay, so I guess Sadokawa, that's the name of the bully, and I guess maybe she backed down a little bit after seeing me, after we had uh, our argument. Miscount, sorry. I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand, JJ. I'm. I also have trouble not saying sorry as well. It's just something that you learn as you grow up, I guess, um, or get older. But even if you are older, it's something that you just learn over time. Like I remember, I used to say sorry all the fucking time. I still kind of do, but I try not to, because I know that when I say sorry, it's, uh... It's like, you're trying to... take the anxiety off of yourself and put it on another person. I don't know if I worded that correctly, but it's kind of like you're trying to relieve yourself of your anxiety by saying sorry. I'm not saying that to any one of you in particular, but this is, like, how I felt I... why I did it. Thank you for the hat pat! I'm under instruction to not say it. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have someone there for you to be like, don't say sorry so much. <laughs> Cause it's kinda like, are you really sorry? Maybe you are. I don't know. Um, but for me, it was kind of like a, I would just say sorry because I felt bad. Not necessarily because I did anything wrong that required an apology. And, and it just ends up making people feel like, huh? Like, uh, like you say sorry because you feel like you did something wrong, but you didn't necessarily do something wrong. And then the other person is like, wait, why are they saying sorry? They didn't, I, I didn't even notice what they did wrong. And so it causes like a, a kind of like weird, it causes like a weird, like, miscommunication type thing, a weird dissonance because the person who said sorry thinks they did something wrong and the person who receives it didn't think the person did do anything wrong, so it gets makes things awkward. So yeah, yeah, apo I apologize if I've actually done something wrong. And like, usually if you have uh, a problem trying to figure out if you did something wrong, um, normally it's helpful to be like, did I do something wrong? Like. Uh, and, and it helps to be around someone who's, like, understanding of that, and patient, and honest about, like, saying whether you actually did something wrong. Force-fed? <laughs> you also force-fed the cute Cyclops with lunch! Yeah, I did force-feed her. It's a miscommunication type beat. Oh shit, is that on YouTube? Miscommunication type beat. Yeah, if I perceive or I'm informed that I've done something wrong. As you can see, this is a topic that I've thought a lot about. <laughs> because I've, I I do it. I say sorry a lot too. Uh, miss... Communication type beat. Um... There's, a, a song called Miscommunication. But unfortunately, no. YouTube cannot provide miscommunication type beats. That's where it fails. It did a fart type beat and a chip type beat, but it cannot do miscommunication type beat. 
<laughs> yeah, I crammed my lunch into her mouth, half of it, um, specifically. Apologize for nothing. Fart loudly. Loudly. <laughs> fart loudly. I apologize. I'm sorry for nothing. And then farts. <laughs> I feel that, JJ. I'm sorry for saying sorry so much. Wait, I said it again. Sorry, I did it again. Sorry, wait, sorry. I hate myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel that so much. That's a big mood. Yeah, you had to put Rax Wisdom to use immediately. Don't you feel relieved now? There's no especially be a especially noticeable change, but Sachi's smile doesn't seem fake like it did before. Little by little, smiling is becoming more natural for her. Aw. What are you smiling about? Today, as always, I arrive at home after walking, walking Sachi to her house and run into my mom, who seems to have come out to check the mail. Oh, nothing. Is my face betraying what I'm thinking? I try to put on a more neutral expression as I reply. You've been getting up so early these past few weeks, having fun at school? Hmm, something like that. It's not like we've actually been planning to meet up in the morning, we just keep getting lucky, I guess. But yes, it does mean I've been getting to school earlier than I used to. For saying sorry, I will now head pat the front. <laughs> Thank you for the sorry head pat. Thank you for the sorry head pat. Attempts to give cube to Cyclops. This will fix all of your worries. You will not be bullied again. The main reason I'm leaving early is that I'd hate to let the chance to meet Sachi in the morning slip away. The fact that it's put a stop to my habit of being late is just a nice side effect. Oh, my my. I thought she was going to pry into my school life, but the mail seems to have caught her attention first. She scans the envelopes and eventually stops on one, separating it from the others. She reads it and after a moment finally sighs. Hey! Hey, Crow! Welcome! Hey, not a cheese it! <laughs> Not a cheese it. I see you again. Gaming for peanut. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Thank you for the raid, Crow. How you doing? How was stream? Hello, Budgie Eater. You were playing Pokemon trading card game. Oh shit. You play Pokemon? I have returned and I will eat you. <laughs> because you're a cheese it. Or not a cheese it. Or are you? Opening card packs. Okay. You're opening cards. Okay, I think I've seen people do that before. Did you get any good cards? Um We're just continuing our playthrough of this game called Love at First Sight, where we become friends with a Cyclops girl who's being bullied. And we try to make her life better. And maybe date her because I think main character has a crush on her. Only the best cards? Awesome. You got some super cool ones? I'm glad. I'm glad that you got your money's worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you feel like you're saying sorry too much, JJ, like try to take a break. Try to, try to take a break and just kind of like vibe. Anxiety can be a bitch. A hundred follower celebration? Damn! Congratulations, Crow. Congrats on the 100 followers. Here's to 200. Hopefully soon. But I've sometimes you just gotta grow slowly. Slow, slow but steadily. Congrats! But uh, for those coming in, I am a doodle frange. I am a round frog who likes sleeping and eating chip. And uh, I also like playing kind of a lot of RPG maker games, a lot of indie games, um, and just chilling. I guess my streams are like really low key just because I am low energy <laughs> a lot of the time. But I do love chips. I love chips, especially Cheetos. 400 follower? Wait, did we just hit 400 followers? Yo? 
<laughs> wait, wait, who followed? Wait, who followed? Oh, gaming for peanut. Oh, that happened right as the raid happened, so I missed it. Damn, thank you, gaming for peanut. You're my honorary 400th follower. <laughs> thank you for that, Pat. Yay! Yay! Yeah, now I can celebrate as well. <laughs> Among Us time? Oh god, am I gonna play Among Us on stream? Thank you guys. Thank you. It's been it's been a long time coming. I think we hit we hit 300 followers like when was that? Back in November? So like it's been a slow growth, but we're finally there. We're finally there. Thanks to all of y'all. Oh my god, the fart's coming. The fart's <laughs> I'm doing- I'm doing the wellness pack, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I said before, slow grow is still grow. Like, we were, we were still growing slowly but steadily, and I'm just happy that I had cool peeps come to the stream to talk to. I wasn't really super focused on that. Hey, no bonk! Yeah. All that really matters is that stream to stream I enjoy streaming. Give a romantic review of the next NPC. All right, we'll see. We'll see who we see next. Um, I think the the NPC that we're talking to right now is our mom. So I don't know if I want to give a romantic review of her. I'll just give her a kiss on the cheek, as a <laughs> as her son. Hee <laughs> hee. It's not a frond stream without farts, that is true. Slow grow is still bro. <laughs> Thank you. So I actually do have a, a thing that I had planned for 400 followers. It's a, uh, a gaming games with chat stream. So a longer stream where you play multiple multiple games with with all of y'all like a community game stream uh because back when i first started streaming um i would do quite a bit of jackbox streams but i kind of tapered off from that and then i did some scribbleio a few times so we could do that or we could do marbles on stream i've seen that being uh really fun marbles on stream if you guys have ever done that before um and maybe <laughs> Maybe Among Us, like Bebop said, but I'm not sure exactly how that works. Uh, live on stream. Oh, it's ribbit time! Ribbit time, ribbit. Ribbit time, ribbit. Ribbit time, ribbit. <laughs> Can't even have Club Penguin stream anymore? Ribbit? Thank you for the timer, Cabal, ribbit. They arrested Club Penguin, ribbit? Wait, really? They took down the, um, they took down the, the fan-made server, Ribbit? What? What, Ribbit? I wanted to, I wanted to play Club Penguin, Ribbit. Not necessarily for this stream, but, uh, eventually, Ribbit. Wait, what about Toontown? Toontown, Ribbit? Did they take down the Toontown ser servers as well, Ribbit? Because this is also Disney. Uh... I wanted to do Toontown eventually on the stream, Ribbit. Toontown rewritten. It's not arrested yet. Nice, Ribbit. Yeah, you didn't redeem it, but someone else redeemed Ribbit time, Ribbit. Because Cabal redeemed it for you, Ribbit. Because he wanted you to have a uh, Ribbit time, Ribbit. Toontown rewritten, Ribbit. Yeah, that's on my list of things to play, Ribbit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if I if I play that, Ribbit. Because if I do play Toontown Online, Ribbit, you could probably y'all could probably play with me, Ribbit. 
Y'all could probably meet up with me, but I don't really know what we would do, Ribbit. I just like uh, fucking around, Ribbit. <laughs> Toontown is still on the run to this day, Ribbit. The, until I have one million points, Ribbit? Yeah, I think Bebop is also um, <laughs> saving up for the one million, Ribbit. The Toontown raids? Yeah! <laughs> I'm just very happy. I'm very happy, Ribbit. I am a happy frange, Ribbit. <laughs> oh, Cabal got a head pat too, Ribbit. But, uh, yeah, so we can do some of those games on stream. I forget what I had for my 500 follower thing, Ribbit. What was that, Ribbit? Uh, I could go on my... On my account, Ribbit. Mute site, Ribbit. Head pass to everyone, Ribbit. I'm happy that you're happy. Thank you, Cabal, Ribbit. Y'all make me happy, Ribbit. 500 is doodle request, Ribbit. Okay, yeah, that's a... Uh... So I, I get that the, the wording is kind of confusing, Ribbit. Because my name is Doodle, so doodle request, you request me to do stuff, Ribbit? But it is kind of like that. It's like I draw on stream, Ribbit, and then y'all can request uh, for me to doodle uh, characters that you want me to doodle, Ribbit. Or like things, I guess? Uh, like requests for doodles uh, on stream, Ribbit. I'll probably have like some kind of redeem for that. But uh, and probably one request per viewer, Ribbit. Yeah, doodle scribble request, Ribbit. It'll be fun. I was thinking uh, and especially since I started doing art on stream, Ribbit, it'll be a lot more realistic to be able to do that, Ribbit. But yeah, um. Let's see. So let's continue the game, Ribbit. I'm not I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish this game today, Ribbit. Maybe next week, Ribbit. <laughs> Did you add the generic ukulele music or was that always there, Ribbit? Oh, that was always there. Yeah, that was always a thing, Ribbit. Yeah. I'm sleepy even though I drink coffee, Ribbit. Uh, what's wrong, Ribbit? I won tickets to a private showing of a new movie, but it's on the same day that we plan to visit some of your fa father's relatives, so I can't go, Ribbit. A private showing? You really hit it big, Ribbit. Well, I do enter a lot of those kinds of drawings, Ribbit. Filling out entries to those prize lotteries is my mom's hobby. Uh, she systematically scans the web and fills out every one she can find, Ribbit. She actually wins quite a few of those private showings, so my dad and I accompany her, her to them pretty often, Ribbit. You said you had plans for that day? When is it? You usually do everything you can you can to go to those, Ribbit. It's this Sunday afternoon. These sneak peeks are usually on week, uh, weekday nights, but not many people go on Sundays, Ribbit. Hey, could I have those tickets? Since you and dad can't go, Ribbit. Sure, I don't mind. I don't know if the movie's good or not, but I still don't want to waste the tickets, Ribbit. Oh, are we gonna go to the movies with, uh, Sachi, Ribbit? Great, thanks. Ribbit. And that's how I got them yesterday, Ribbit. Lunchtime. As I eat with Tomo and Akemi, I show them the tickets for the private showing that I got for my mom, Ribbit. Ribbit time has ended, Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. One last ribbit for the for the road, ribbit. I'll also add ribbit to all my sentences, ribbit. Y'all can keep ribbiting too. Wow, I've never heard of that movie, but it looks so fun. Akemi is practically squealing with delight as she looks over the tickets. Oh ho, so now the answer to the question of which of us to invite is... Neither, I'm guessing. Good guess, Tomo. Huh? No way. He didn't say that. Bad guess, Akemi. What the heck? I thought- I totally thought I knew where you were going with this. But you're not taking us? Meanie, I want to see that movie too. Sorry, but I've only got two tickets. If I invite one of you, that means I have to leave the other, uh, other of you behind. 
don't forget to rant romantically review the N next NPC. Oh, okay. Um, I'll romantically review... So who's first? I think they both showed up at the same time. Uh, let's review Tomo. I would give him... <laughs> I would smooch him. It would be weird because they're all high schoolers. <laughs> I have to either smooch, marry, or, or take them to bed. <laughs> I'll just give him a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> this content, riveting, yes. Review them as a poly couple. Oh yeah, if, if all of, uh, if main character Tomo and Akemi were a poly couple. Uh, I guess they would get married then, but in Japan that wouldn't be possible. Well, well, well. That was good timing though, Cabal. Oh, you don't have to add Ribbit to everything. I, I stopped doing it because we ran out of time. It's only for like five minutes. So he's going to invite you know who instead. I know who. Oh, Sachan. Yeah, so what do you think? What do we think? They're your tickets. And besides, you're the one who knows your relationship with her best. Well, whatever. Sure, go ahead and invite her. I still got it. Well, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you just have to predict what I'm gonna do. My timing. You're still gonna do it, Ribbit? All right, Ribbit. Well, I've never hung out with a girl outside of school. I'm a little nervous. Hello! What about the trip we took together on the last holiday? You're a poor replacement for a girl. Oh my god, rude? What's that supposed to mean? No, what I mean is, whenever we meet, Tomo's, almo Tomo's almost always there as well. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, he dodged the bullet there. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you're the one she knows best. We can't really give you much advice, but if you coerce her into going, she's never going to be comfortable around you again. If you plan to accompany her there, that should be enough to convince her, right? Yeah, you're probably right. I guess I should actually find out where we're going first, though, huh? Man, I guess it doesn't make the most sense for you to take Sa- It does make the most sense for you to take Sachi instead of us. I still feel like I'm missing out, though. Well, if Sachi ends up rejecting me, I'll hand the tickets off to you two, since at that point, I wouldn't know what to do with them anyway. Huh? You sure? But you could go alone if you wanted, couldn't you? Maybe, do, but do I want to go alone? Besides, these tickets are in my mom's name. If one of the people trying to use them isn't female, they may not accept them at all. Anyway, that's all moot if Sachi agrees to come. I can't make the decision for you now that I have a stake in it. Do I want to see the movie, or do I want the day when I finally meet Sachan to come sooner? I guess either would be good. What about you, Tomo? If you do hand the tickets off to us, that means I have to spend the day with Akemi, which is a pretty tiring prospect. Then again, I can't exactly refuse your generosity. I am free that day, and going to a movie night might be a worthwhile di diversion. Oh my god, I can't talk. Talking is so difficult right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but I have, like, um... <laughs> like, my sinuses aren't always clear or something. So it's always, like, kind of difficult to talk a lot. Boba Franz Ribbit. Yeah, I do got a boba. I'm drinking my boba. Nah, I was just drinking water. Wow, I didn't realize you were that excited to go on a date with me, Tomo. Look, I'll do it. But do you know how much energy it takes the average human to keep you to keep up with you? The two keep talking, but I think they've already forgotten what has what has to happen before they get the tickets. Thank you for your input, guys. Anyway, I'm done with my lunch, so I'm going to hurry up and go find Sachi. I stand up and head for the stairway. Sachi! Oh Mamoru Senpai. What's up? Sachi is, yet again, sitting at the same place in the same way as when I first met her. I've been coming by day, by day after day, and each time I leave, it's like she's a little brighter. It's comforting. Comforting. Hey, are you, are you doing anything this Sunday? 
I get right to the point, sitting down in my usual spot. Sunday? No, I don't have any plans. Why do you ask? Well, my mom won, won one of those sneak peeks for a new movie, but she can't go to it. She gave me the tickets. There's only two, so I wasn't sure what to do with them at first, but... What? A movie? With me? Don't you have any other friends you could invite? Wait, Cyclops? Yeah, she's a Cyclops girl. And that's why she's getting bullied. <laughs> nah, she isn't a cyborg. I like Cyclopses. Cyclopses look cool. It's not that I don't, but I don't have enough tickets for both of them. If you refuse, I was just going to give the tickets to them. I'm asking if you want to go first. Right? Isn't she a cute? Y yes, of course. Oh, but the movie theater is far away, isn't it? Yeah, but we can just take a train, can't we? Or did you not want to travel too far? No, it's not that. Just, if we take the train, we have to pay for tickets. Doesn't your aunt give you an allowance or something? Not really. I've never asked for it. Are you and your aunt on bad terms? I don't think she really likes me that much, though, to be honest, I'm not really sure. You don't know? Don't you live with her? Can you ask other family members or something? Oh no, Mamoru, why do you think she's living with her aunt? Why do you think she's living with her aunt? <laughs> no, it's fine, really. Um, my family... My mom got sick and died many years ago. As for my dad, I was told he left when I was very young. Oh my fucking god, Mamoru. <laughs> oh, you got the wave emote! Nice, that's a good emote. But then again, all of them are good, if I do say so myself. Your mom? Oh. Wow. I I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's been a long time since then. Uh, well, what about you da your dad? You said he left? No one ever told me what happened, but he probably left because of me. I think he must have left right after I was born. I don't have any memories of him. Probably because she was a cyclops. Sachi's eyes, eyes seems to dim as she tells me this. I suppose she wouldn't really remember if she was that young when he left, but I could see a little glimmer of sadness in her eye when she admitted it. My mom didn't abandon me, though. She did her best, her very best to raise me alone. She was a very kind mother. It was probably too much for one person to handle, though. It took too much of a toll on her body, and after that... I'm um, sorry, I didn't mean to be so depressing. You want me to bonk the frange? No, it, Crow's probably bonking Mamoru for being asking an insensitive question. No, I brought it up. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Uh, so after that, your aunt took custody of you? Yes, that's right. Aunt Mayumi seemed to be really close with my mom. Before she died, my mom told Mayumi that she was counting on her to take care of me. That's why she adopted me. But I'm sure my aunt hates hot, my aunt hates me. She just hasn't said anything. She probably blames me for her unhappiness and the death of her beloved sister. You must not like your aunt very much. No, that's not it. I'm grateful to her for taking care of me. I just don't want to be a nuisance to her. It wouldn't be right for her, me to ask her for something as selfish as spending money. I see. Thanks for telling me that. I've never had anyone to talk to before, so... Thanks for listening to me. But you know, I really do want to hang out with you. If you want, I can pay for the train ride and stuff. I don't mind at all. No, I couldn't. I want to hang out with you too, but I have to ask Mayumi if I can first. But if you have to pay for me, she would just not go. Oh, we should just not go. I don't want to be a nuisance to you any more than to my aunt. I don't know your aunt, but you're not being a nuisance to me at all. But... There's no rush. Why don't you decide after you've asked her? Yeah, alright. So many insensitive questions. Oof. Yeah, it's like... Well, I guess... It makes sense if he grew up in a fairly privileged environment. Um, you wouldn't necessarily think about other people's situations. Because he lives with both his parents and 
and is a pretty normal high school boy, I guess. By the way, since we have to go all the way to the next town to get to the movie theater, why don't we get there early so we can just wander around a bit? The movie starts in the afternoon so we can get lunch or something. Ooh, is this a date? He's inviting her to a date? Rabbit. Rabbit. Ribbit. And yabbit. Oh, she's blushing. Ah, uh, um, okay. I suddenly feel very nervous. Come on, this isn't some huge event. We're just going to have a little fun. Loosen up. I'll try. Come on, dude. You're asking her out to a date. That's basically a date. There you go. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have a cell phone? We should exchange numbers before we forget. It'll be useful in case we want to get in touch later on. Oh, yes. I carry one in case of emergencies. The cell phone Sachi takes out is ancient, but she fumbles with it awkwardly. It's really plain, too. Not a single sticker or anything. Not even one of those silly straps. Um, how do I do this? I think you have to press this. Ribbit, rabbit, ribbit. <laughs> she must not use it much. In fact, it looks like she barely knows how to use it at all. I guess that worked. Thank you. Not even a cool Ava theme strap, right? But then again, I guess it makes sense since, since she doesn't get, um, well, she doesn't work and she doesn't get an allowance, so she wouldn't have any money to spend on, on stuff like that. C come to think of it, what's the movie about? Oh right, I should have told you before. It's some movie from Germany. It doesn't look like it's some huge adventure, more like a drama, I guess. Though the story is pretty light, so maybe it's more like a comedy. I take the flyer that came with the ticket out, tickets out of my pocket to show Sa Sachi. Ooh, that looks interesting. I've never seen it, so I can't tell you if it's interesting or not. Even going to a movie theater is exciting. I've only ever seen movies on TV. Well, a private showing isn't something you can just go to any time. It's not a regular movie theater. And after it's over, you have to fill out a simple questionnaire. But that also sounds exciting. I'm glad you think so, then. The bell chimes as lunch period ends. Oops, looks like we need to get going. I'll ask my aunt about the movie when I get home. Alright, great. See you later. First date. <laughs> it is a date. It looks like Franz hangs out at the pool and just stays away from the water a little bit. Yeah, I uh, I used to swim a lot at the pool before, but I don't like going uh, into the water much anymore. The next day, I've got a lot on my mind as I'm watch walking to school along the route Sachi always takes. Hopefully Sachi talked to her aunt about coming to hang out with me. I wonder what her aunt will say. Sachi doesn't seem to think she likes her very much. Sachi's covered in wounds, but her aunt didn't seem concerned about it in the slightest when I met her. Maybe Sachi's right. Actually, I did kind of get that impression. She seemed really cold, although I can't really judge her based on the tiny amount of contact I've had with her, so I don't know if that's really how she is. Hey Iwo! Hello, hello! How's it going? If her aunt didn't say it was okay, Sachi will naturally refuse, but I still want to take her out even if I have to force her to let me pay for a train ticket. If her family isn't supporting her, then that's all the more reason for me to do so. I mull these things over as I walk, staring at the passing pavement beneath me without looking up. Good morning, Mamoru-senpai. I look up to see Sachi standing before me. Oh, good morning, Sachi. Something, something wrong? Nothing, nothing. I wasn't looking where I was going, so you surprised me. Sorry. I'm used to having to catch up with her. This is the first time I've heard her call out from behind me. She seems happy to see me. Yes! I was wondering if I'd see you while I was walking. My aunt said it was okay for me to spend the day with you, senpai. She even said she'd pay for the train and lunch. Really? That's great. Yes. I was preparing for the worst. This is a little unexpected. <laughs> a little head pat for Iwo. I'm looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, me too. Speaking of which, 
I heard the movie is actually based off of some German novel. We continue chatting about the movie, what we'll do that day, and other little things until we arrive at school. Sachi seems to be more excited about this than I thought she would be. She doesn't even know that much about the town we're headed to. It's probably because she knows this is a date, but Maboru is dense as fuck and he just thinks that they're going out or something. I don't, like going out with a friend. Sunday, the day I'm going out with Sachi. We decided I would meet her at her house since it's so close to my own. I had some time to spare, so I arrive at Sachi's house a little earlier than we discussed. I don't mind waiting if she still needs to get ready. I ring the doorbell. Oh no, is he gonna meet with her aunt? After a little while, I hear soft footsteps approach shortly before the front door opens. Yep, there she is. However, standing before me is not Sachi, but her aunt, Mayumi. It's not like I wasn't kind of expecting this, but I'm surprised nonetheless, and my body goes rigid. Good morning. I'm here to see Sachi. Good morning, Mamoru-kun. I've heard all about it. It seems like Mayumi is searching me for something with her icy gaze. She looks so cute in her in her regular clothes. She's just wearing like a, a sweat, a, a, a hoodie or something, but... She cute. Good morning, good morning, senpai. You're here early. Sure enough, Sachi appears behind Mayumi. It seems like she's ready to go. But she looks between Mayumi and me with a troubled expression. <laughs> ah. I think Sachi is more surprised than I am that Mayumi answered the door. Yeah, casual Sachi is really cute, Ribbit! But Mayumi pays Sachi no mind as she stares back at me and begins to speak. The movie ends in the evening, right? Once the movie is over, come right home, okay? R right, we will. I wasn't planning on staying out that late anyway, but... The warning look in her eyes is a little unsettling, nonetheless. Alright then, off you go. With that, Mayumi steps aside and lets Sachi out onto the street. Yes, goodbye. We get a good distance away from Sachi's house before we start speaking again. Um, sorry about that. Why are you apologizing? I mean, I was surprised, but it seemed like she was just worried about you. She probably just didn't want to have to deal with any trouble I might cause. Actually, I have no idea what she was thinking. Maybe Sachi's right after all. Whatever. Forget about that and let's get going. Yeah, sure. We're about to start heading in the direction of the station, but... What's wrong? Huh? What do you mean? I was so distracted... About with thinking about Mayumi that I didn't notice that Sachi's wearing casual clothing. This is the first time I've seen her in anything other than her uniform. She's wearing a plain skirt and a worn out hoodie. I realized Sachi put her hood up and her head down as soon as we started walking. Do you really have to walk that way? Huh? This is how I always do it. Do you not like it? No, uh, it's just, it's really suspicious looking. I think it would be best if you took off the hood, at least. It's suspicious looking? Yeah, when someone has their hood up and you can't see their face, don't you think that person looks kind of suspicious? Uh, oh, I see. This is how she always does that? Does it? I don't know what it's like for her, but still, when she's with me, I don't want her to act weird like that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Come on! I know why she's doing it. We're supposed to be walking together, but I can't even see her face. I mean, I, I agree that she should, shouldn't should walk like that, but there's a reason that she does it like that, I believe. Sweet angel, right? But yeah, she, she she's probably putting her head down so other people won't stare at her. Because she's a, a cyclops. <laughs> so people won't, like, see her and get scared or, like, stare at her and shit. Can you give me a tutorial on how to be funny, Ribbit? <laughs> um, first, have a big ass. Second, become frog. That's how you be funny? <laughs> and plus, I don't even think I'm that funny anyway. I'm just fucking around. 
Look, I know how you usually try not to let people see you, but you're with me today, you know? No matter what happens, I'm right here next to you. Okay, yeah, you're right. Step three already complete. I'm already frog. <laughs> and I already have big ass. She's still anxious, and she's still keeping her head down, but at least she seems to have given up on the hood for now. Right, let's get going, shall we? Okay. You make us laugh plenty? I'm glad. What the fuck does that sign say? Something cute. I'm very satisfied, five-star tutorial ribbit. I'm glad. I, I should become- I should go into the, like, the business of making tutorials for people. What about writing those self-help books, too? Don't people make a lot of money from that? Just write a self-help book on being a frog. Since it's the weekend, the street to the station has quite a few people on it. And that goes double for the shopping center we have to go through to get there. The train itself isn't any better. It's so packed, in fact, that I don't think it's going to be possible to have any kind of conversation with Sachi until we arrive at our destination. That said, since our destination isn't particularly far away, it doesn't take that long to get there. And we both feel a little relieved once we get off the train. There sure are a lot of people out today. You okay? Yeah, I don't really use the train, so I was startled to see so many people on it. But I'm alright. Great, then why don't we walk around and try to find somewhere to eat? Sure. We start walking toward an area that probably has a place we can eat at. Actually, I already know where I'm taking her since I looked around for a good place beforehand. Ooh, Mamoru, so, so prepared. Download Yelp to review it and give five stars, hell yeah. Wait, can you review books on Yelp? I thought it'd be better to take Sachi to a quieter place where she can let her guard down while we talk rather than a street with a lot of big shops and a ton of people. I try to start a conversation with Sachi, but as I turn my head to look at her, she's nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. And I immediately start to panic. I quickly realize that she didn't actually disappear. She's just walking, walking several meters behind me for some reason. Why? Weren't we supposed to be walking together? Wait, what? Why is she so far away? Sachi? I quickly turn around and close the distance between us. Yes, what is it? Five franges out of five? Oh, a whole five franges? Hell yeah. Uh, do you not want to walk next to me or something? N no, nothing like that. It's just, I don't know if you want me to walk next to you. Why wouldn't I want you to? What? But, but if... You walk next to me, people might think you know me. Oh, Sachi. Oh, Sachi. You poor... <laughs> you poor Cyclops girl. <laughs> but I do know you. That's why I want to walk with you. Yeah, but... I understand what she's getting at. She definitely draws a lot of attention. I saw that she got a lot of startled glances and stares from people we passed on the street as we were making our way here. I feel like a lot of them were overreacting, though that's not exactly surprising me either. I guess it's only natural that she'd want to hide her face to avoid those stares. Maybe stopping her from wearing her hood was not the best idea. Yeah, there's a reason why she wears it, bitch. <laughs> Franges are better than the stars? I can agree with that. Put your hood up if it makes you feel better. I want to walk next to you. But you said... She takes half a, half a step backwards, putting a little more distance between us. I don't think there's anything wrong with being seen with you. Come on, don't run away. I close the half step distance and grab her hand to keep her here. Uh, huh? We're going to be seen together anyway, so we might as well walk together, right? I'm fine with it, but if you don't want to walk with me, just say so, and I'll let go of your hand. I do want to, but isn't this a little... Oh, they're holding hands, isn't it? They're they're doing the <laughs> They're getting all flustered like in Japanese media. <laughs> her voice becomes a whisper as she stares at the ground, but after a moment she tilts her head up just enough to look at me. Senpai, is this really okay? Of course, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay then, let's go. Th thanks. Thank you. They're holding hands! 
Oh my god, it's so... Cute. I'm back, I have to go, but not fully, Ribbit. Enjoy your look, JJ! Main character, it's just like in my Japanese animes. Like, you know that uh, in the Japanese, like, uh, manga slash anime slash visual novel thing where they're like, come on, this isn't an anime. This is real life. <laughs> they go like, is it like this is a manga or something? We gotta do this. It doesn't work that way. And I'm just like, <laughs> I see what you did there. Actually, I'm finding myself getting a little flustered as well, but I don't think I could let go of her hand even if I wanted to. With our hands clasped together, I start to worry that my grip on her hand is too tight or that I'm walking too quickly for her. As I become aware of everything I could be doing wrong, I quickly start to feel very embarrassed. I'm too focused on these details to actually make conversation with Sachi. I try to calm down, forcing myself not, um, forcing myself to think about anything and focusing only on the feeling of Sachi's hand in mine. Her slender hand is warm and faintly, I can feel that warmth flood into my own hand. hand. She adjusts her grip and rough spots on her otherwise smooth skin gently scrape against my palm. They feel like they might be scabs or something. Wait, didn't this hand have a bandage on it before? The shallow grooves on her soft hand are strangely alluring, and I unconsciously trace them with my fingers. This is getting weird. Sachi's own fingers twitch in response, though I'm not sure whether this is a reflex or not. Thinking I've offended her, although this is a good, like, description of the first time holding hands with someone, because you're, like, really self-conscious and every little movement becomes more heightened like you notice them a lot more because you're really nervous thinking i've offended her i glance at sachi only to find that she's already staring at me with her one big eye uh, uh sorry it's fine i uh was just wondering like are those scars on your hands i wanted to feel them to make sure it's okay you can touch them if you want. Ugh! Blood rushes to her smiling face, and I think mine probably turns just as red. That cafe, uh, do you want to have lunch there? I saw it when I was looking for good places to eat before we came. I've heard good things about it. I point at the first place I see that looks like it might serve food. <laughs> He's just pointing at a random place. So much for that pl place I'd planned to take us to. It wasn't the most elegant way of changing the subject, but I can't take the embarrassment. Oh, it looks nice. Do you want to get lunch now then? Well, it's still a little early for lunch. Maybe we should wander around a bit more and come back later. That's true. Okay, let's come back later. And with that, Sachi's hold on my hand grows tighter. This time I squeeze back. If we didn't look like a couple when we left, we certainly do now. Yeah, lo young love is very awkward. <laughs> this is this is giving me flashbacks. <laughs> this is giving me like secondhand embarrassment. Cause I remember when I remember when I was like that too. <laughs> I never said how long I was going to be. Hmm? Oh well you're back now. After that, we explored the area a bit, and I enjoyed that, but we didn't say much to each other. Not that it was an uncomfortable silence. Sometimes I'd look over at Sachi, and no matter where she was looking, she was always wearing a cheerful expression. Same, Frange. Oh, it's giving you flashbacks as well. Aren't you getting bored of just wandering around? No, not at all. Even just walking around like this is fun. There's- whoop. Excellent. Went forward. There's so much to see, and all these stores look interesting. Really? Well, if you see a store you like, let me know. We can stop and take a look inside if you want. I don't think I'd buy anything, though. We can just browse. Even if you don't plan on buying anything, there's nothing wrong with looking, you know? I suppose not. Hey, this one looks interesting, don't you think? 
I stop in front of one of the stores we're passing. Peeking in through the open double doors, we see that the store has a trendy atmosphere with big decorations. It's selling accessories, clothing, and other classy looking mer merchandise. I can still remember my first date, so I'm having hella flashbacks. <laughs> what was my first date like? What was my first date? I forget my first date. I'm not much of a date person. I remember my first quote-unquote date with Draken, but other people were there. So it wasn't really like a date date, um, but it is kind of funny. It is kind of funny. Um, I went out with Draken and two other friends uh, to the, the nearby city, and uh, I forget exactly where we went, except for one place that we stopped by. We stopped by a sex toy shop. <laughs> we stopped by a sex toy shop and I watched as m one of my friends got a butt plug. So. <laughs> that, that definitely stuck in my mind. Uh, I don't remember my actual first date with Draken though. I, it, we mostly just hung out on campus because we both lived on the campus of our college. Your first date was good? I'm glad, Crow. I'm never awkward on dates for some reason. Maybe you're just like really good at going along with the flow. Like, uh... Like, improv. This is not an anime. I see what you did there. Anime reference. Go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
He's actually one of my roommates. He has ADHD as well, and he shakes my, his leg a lot like me. But I don't think it's out of nervousness. I think it's like because he has ADHD, he just really wants to do something all the time. <laughs> You thump your leg like a rabbit? Yeah. It's like over overflowing energy. But uh, actually, speaking of overflowing, I need a piss right now. So I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to play an ad because that will remove pre-rolls. Uh, let's see. Dashboard. I'm going to play an ad. That will remove pre-rolls. So if you guys ever like refresh the page or like... Twitch is being stupid, it won't show a pre-roll for you for the next 30 minutes. Go pee, Franz? Yeah, that coffee just went through me. Goes to the other room and screams into pillow. I'm okay? Yes, screaming into pillow does help. I, I can say from experience. But yeah, I'm gonna show the BRB screen and I'm gonna play a minute and a half ad just to um, get rid of pre-rolls. I'll BRB!
the Frange is safe and not full of pee anymore. But wait, y'all were partying without me? Oh, I wanted to party. But also, Draken, how, why the fuck are you bogging me off stream, huh? Why the fuck? I was just going pee. What did I do, Draken? Come on. <laughs> but, um... Oh yeah, the ribboning joke. <laughs> hey, good morning, Ezreal. How's it going? Hope you had good sleep. A Coro... <laughs> a Coro bounce. Welcome back, dude LaFrange. Wait, what cringe did th thing did you do? <laughs> Your joke was exceptional. <laughs> now you just made a, a dad joke, JJ. <laughs> but uh, ooh, let me stretch a little bit. Hmm. Ooh. I'm relaxed, but not for long. My body just loves tensing up. I made a playlist on YouTube full of nothing but love songs. I just sent that playlist to your boyfriend? Hey, that's not cringe. That's not cringe. You sent a cute playlist to your boyfriend. That's adorable. <laughs> but let's see, let's keep going along with our date. Hopefully we can at least finish one act today. I think there's like four acts left. Um, so we're, this is gonna def definitely take a while. This game is only supposed to take like four hours. Well, not four hours, two hours? Wasn't it supposed to take two hours? <laughs> but I guess having to read it all and like also talking with y'all takes, it takes a longer time. Right? That was super sweet. You're talking about how Draken was bonking you off screen. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw those comments. I didn't even finish my bottle of pina colada. I didn't even get to touch my third gar margarita last night. That's probably for the best. That probably helped you sleep better. You gotta add the frange tax to the playtime? That's true, there is a frange tax. Um, me having to read everything out loud and me getting distracted and me talking with you guys. <laughs> Well, let's see, there isn't really anything here for someone who doesn't care about the latest fashions and trends, but at least there's still a lot of unusual things to look at. I've never been in a store like this. Maybe you can find something you like. How about this? Bram! Is that because you, you drank last night, Asriel? You got the morning poops, the morning gas? <laughs> oh, you're stopping the ribbiting now, JJ? Yeah, drinking is best done in lim limited amounts. I, I've been talking about that with uh, my therapist recently. About like, mm, why do I drink? How much should I drink? Is the amount that I drink bad for me? And yeah, uh, I've been not picking up the best habits over over pa the pandemic uh, I started like making a habit of binge drinking and I'm trying to break that habit now where like if I do have a drink I only have like one or two like I do not and I only save like drinking a lot for really special occasions and I, I'll focus on picking up other habits to help me calm down or unwind. Asriel got the turbo splats from drinking. Yeah, those can be real pain in the morning. I go ribbit, raven go squawk. Gotta drink the recommended amount of one tablespoon. So I, w I, w I was thinking about that article. Isn't that one tablespoon of pure alcohol? Or is that one tablespoon of like a beer or something because I was thinking like one tablespoon of like alcohol in a drink or something only consumed one or two drinks at a time for years now and I drink real in the infrequently yeah I think that's probably a good thing one tablespoon of like hard alcohol okay that makes sense because like if not if you have like a beer that's already way over that 
Uh, but that makes sense that there are no health benefits to alcohol. <laughs> I mean, people probably don't do it to be healthy. And uh, I was I was realizing that the amount that I was drinking and the uh, the amount of times I was drinking that amount was not good for my health, and I do not want to damage my liver as a 24 year old. So I'm gonna focus on other things. <laughs> Just don't drink, it's easy. Nah. For some people it's easy, for some people it's not. Um, especially since now I live in a household where they do social drinking a lot. Not like binge drinking, but they're like, oh hey, I made this cool new drink. Uh, you wanna sip it? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, and then the mood kinda goes for like, I'll have my own drink too, because it's, I wanna have a tasty drink. I do have a pog emote. I have a Doodle 78 Pog. Yeah, tea, coffee, and soda. Um, I, I also drink tea and coffee and sometimes soda as well, like a Diet Coke. But, uh, and then I also have like, I use Delta 8 and stuff, slash weed occasionally. Not occasionally, but not as often as alcohol. Water! Just drink a lot of water and go pee. But yeah, I guess I haven't really mentioned that on stream a lot, that I was trying to cut down on my alcohol. I did have a chaser of a Baja Mango Gem, Mount Gem Mountain Dew. Wait, they have mango? Baja Mango Mountain Dew? That sounds good. Water is... Literally, life. <laughs> we would die without water. Maybe you can find something you like. How about this? I take something I think Sachi might like off the display just outside the door and offer it to her. Oh, okay, they're newish. Wait, were you were you tempted to advise that I drink less? But I always respect your agency. I, I thank you. Thank you for respecting my agency. It's not like I wasn't, um... Thinking about it. I don't want to get too... Too deep, but... Yeah. Um... It's, it's the same thing for me, Cabal. My, my dad was a massive alcoholic, so... Uh, I kind of grew up villainizing alcohol, so... Um, like, whenever I drank, I would feel guilty, and I only saw drinking as a means to get drunk as opposed to actually enjoying, like, using it as, as a pleasure, as a way to, like, enjoy the drink itself. But I want to change that. I don't want to pair drinking with getting drunk, if that makes sense. My favorite one, my number one favorite Mountain Dew is the Flaming Hot. What? Oh yeah, they did have Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. I think uh, Black Cat uh, Juggernaut tried that. Uh, Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Green Apple or Trash ap Apple? I've I've uh I've never heard that. I've just just never uh, gotten drinking. Yeah, though it's not. It's not as easy for some people. <laughs> yeah, it makes you silly things, so it's not for me. Yeah, and I... That's very respectable. Everyone has, uh... Can make their own choice whether or not they want to drink. Fred Myers on Kroger? Hmm. That's interesting. I'd want to try that. These are sunglasses? She's so confused. Try them on. Huh? Um, okay. She puts the sunglasses over her face, which now looks even more puzzled. That's totally natural, of course. These sunglasses with their two lenses are only going to make it harder for her with her one eye to see. They obviously don't suit her, but her reaction is too adorable and charming. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. 
Are you making fun of me, senpai? Sachi suddenly becomes very obviously depressed. I really should have been more sensitive about her eye. Oh my god, Mamoru. That's a big yikes. Green Apple Jolly Rancher? Oh, I've had that before. Green Apple Jolly Ranchers are so good. Well, Jolly Ranchers are just good in general. You want spicy drink? I wonder if you could just get uh, the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew from a grocery store. No, I'm really sorry. I won't do anything like that again. I'm just joking. Just, just uh, a little payback. Having turned the tables on me, she can't help but let her smile slip back onto her face. I didn't expect her to pull something like that. Oh, she was teasing him. Man, I can't believe you just got me like that. Serious though, I seriously though, I am sorry. I should be more considerate of your uh It's okay, it's okay. I I know you didn't mean anything by it. That's true, but still. Anyway, I'd suggest we check out the store, but actually I think it's about time we ate lunch. Sure, let's go find that cafe again. The green apple Mountain Dew tastes like green apple Rockstar? I don't think I've I don't think I've had green apple Rockstar before. My number one favorite Mountain Dew was Pitch Black? Wait, what? Pitch Black Mountain Dew? Sachi doesn't seem to be upset at me at all, but I'm a little disappointed that she won't get a chance to check out the store. I take one last look inside, and one of the shelves catches my eye. Hey, which do you like the best? Um, which do you like best out of blue, green, and orange? Ah, uh, well, orange. Why? No reason. Or well, wait here a second. Okay. I run into the store, leaving Sachi, who is genuinely, genuinely confused this time, behind. Sorry about that. That was quick. Did you buy something? Yeah, look. I show the cell phone strap to Sachi. It's a simple orange flower dangling off a green string made to look like a stem. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, it's grape flavor. That sounds go so good. I love grape flavor. Flaming Hot and Green Apple are both tied for second. I don't know what happened there with the speech text. Yeah, I kind of just assume that if something uh, doesn't make sense in your message, it's just like the speech text being weird. Oh, how cute. Is that for your cell phone? No, yours. Huh? Mine? Why? I guess something to remember today by? What? No, I, I couldn't. You hang on to it, senpai. Even if I did, I wouldn't use it. Well, let me pay for it then. I just bought it on a whim. Don't worry about it. Think of it as thanks for hanging out with me today. Take it. Uh, are you sure? Of course, it wasn't that expensive anyway, so don't feel like you owe me. Well, okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I noticed your phone doesn't have any kind of decorations on it, so I figured you might like it. But if you don't, you don't have to put it on your phone or anything. Uh, no, it's really cute. I think it's lovely. I'll put it on right away. Aww. She takes out her phone and attaches her new strap. Looks good. I was afraid the color might be too bright, but if it's the only one hanging there, it actually works out nicely. Have y'all ever put straps on your phones? I used to. Um, back when my phone actually had a part, uh, like place to put a strap on um but i don't do it anymore she got a meet i nikki phone you mean a flip phone <laughs> oh you don't they can be really cute but um if you bring it around too much it can wear down the the strap and then the attachment can like fall off i had a little shiba inu phone strap thing and that almost happened to it she looks so happy, tightly grasping her phone and smiling at the strap. My pleasure. Anyway, we should start heading to the cafe. We have a little time to spare, but if the place is crowded, we'll never get in before the movie starts unless we go now. Yes, right, let's go. 
um, senpai? <laughs> Flip phones aren't real. They were just made for Midai Nikki. Midai Nikki exclusive phone. You never put it on the phone? Oh, okay. Yeah, there... And especially if you spend a lot of money on the phone strap, you wouldn't want it to get damaged or something. So excited to see Morbius! <laughs> Wait, are you watching Morbius? Or is it like you're saying, um... Main character and Sachi are gonna see Morbius? For some reason, Sachi's voice seems to be quavering. Quavering? Is that a word or is it quivering? As she calls out to me. Huh? Uh... I think I can guess what she's about to say, but I don't know if she's thought it through. A few moments pass in silence, then I wordlessly take her hand! Ah, oh, that's so cute! They're watching Morbius? Oh yeah, yeah. They're absolutely watching Morbius. <laughs> You're directing Morbius 2 right now? Oh damn, is it good? Oh, it is a word? Oh, okay, it's a speech trembling, so it's specific to that. That's good to know. Sachi doesn't say anything else, and instead just squeezes my hand tightly as we start walking. Oh, why was she so cute? Before long, we arrive at the cafe we found earlier. Luckily, there aren't too many people, and we find a table more or less immediately. Oh, we got a CG here! It's warm enough today that sitting outside is comfortable, so we take one of the outdoor tables and start looking through the menu. I wonder if I should get a sandwich or not. I'm not sure I'm that hungry. A sandwich does sound good. Oh, this looks delicious. It doesn't take too long for us to decide, and we soon place our orders. As we're waiting for our food, Sachi ga Sachi's gaze keeps drifting onto me, only to flit away as soon as I notice. It seems like she wants to say something, but she's not sure how to say it. Popcorn bug? No, I haven't. What's up? As a senpai, um, do you want to touch my scars? What? Huh? This takes me so off guard that I start sputtering like an idiot. What? I, uh, what do you mean? Nothing, it's just... You were touching them before, so I thought you might want to. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say in this situation. I, uh, since I met you... You've done so much for me, Mamoru Senpai, but I've never done even one thing for you. I want to do something to repay you for all the times you've made me happy. I can't really think of anything. Sorry, that must be a really creepy thing to ask. Please just forget about it. I get the feeling that Sachi thinks she owes me a debt. She really doesn't have that much social experience, after all. After thinking about this strange proposal for a bit, I realize she really is trying to repay me in her own way. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Huh? Your scars. I want to, uh, touch them. Can I? I can't think of this as her repaying a debt. Just being able to be together with her is reward enough, though saying that to her probably wouldn't change her mind anyway. It's a type of bug insect that looks like a piece of popcorn, and when it's in danger, it pops off a leg? <laughs> it pops off a leg, launches itself, as it pops the leg off to get away from danger, so it looks like a popcorn kernel popping away! That sounds really cute. That sounds really cute. Do we know why she has scars? We do not know at the moment, but apparently they're on her hands. Because he felt them when they were holding hands. I feel like her letting me touch her scars will somehow lighten the burden she carries every day, even if this is a strange thing to do. This is for Sachi's sake. I did ask to, but it's not like I actually want to feel her scars. Or at least that's how I should feel. Yeah, it looks like it's on her hand over there. Oh yes, go ahead. Trembling, she puts her right hand on the table. Thanks. But intentionally touching her, another person's injuries like this is really weird, and I feel apprehensive about doing it. Before, I only felt them because we were holding hands. But this time, I'm doing it on purpose, and a girl's hand is obviously much smaller than mine. Might mix my third bottle of margarita with some orange juice, just so it doesn't taste as tall... As tall as the one I drank last night by itself? 
I hope it tastes good. Before I only... But what, the scars cover more of her palm than I thought they might. Now that I can see them closely, it looks like they're mostly healed. The bandages that covered them seem to have been removed a few days ago, and any pain or bleeding must have subsided by now. Oh, chart. Okay. I run my thumb along the smooth outline of the scars, tracing them. There's not much left of the scabs that must have covered these scars only a few days ago. Never got a good look at them until now. They aren't as rough as I thought they might be. I glide my thumb along the inside of the pale grooves, then back out to the edges. Scabs still occupy the very center of her scars. She probably, she would probably start bleeding again if the scabs were picked off. These scabs will probably start falling off soon, actually. I'm sure they were huge when they were fresh. The skin outline- oh my god, they're describing the scars so fucking much. The skin outlining these scabs is bright pink and closer to the center, white. The center of the scar is sunken as though part of her palm was cut out. What? And I let my thumb creep into the depression. Uh, Saki- Sachi's hand shudders under my touch. Sorry, did that hurt? No, it didn't. That part is so sensitive is all. I'm fine, don't worry. Oh, we're getting to weird territory here. I look up at Sachi apologetically and see that her face has become much redder than when we entered the cafe. Having someone examine your hands so intensely in public would probably be embarrassing for anyone. I try rubbing her scar a bit. Ah, I probably shouldn't be enjoying this so much, but... <laughs> Okay, the person who made this has a thing for scars. But sometimes when I put pressure on her hand and she makes a really cute expression, she makes a really cute expression as she flinches ever so slightly. She's adorable in these moments, and seeing that makes me want to rub the part of her scap that's still healing. Excuse me. This is an odd turn. Well, I figured that the, mo the person who made this had some kind of fetish that was non-standard. <laughs> I come out of my trance with a start as the waitress brings our food on a fold-out platter. I hurriedly give Sachi back her hand, leaving the table clear, and the waitress puts our sandwiches in front of us. Enjoying? Enjoying the scar rubbing? Rub 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 <laughs> Do you need anything else? Oh no, thank you. When she brought our food, the waitress looked Sachi over curiously, and then, as she left, she shot me a strange, almost wary glance. I guess I really deserve that, though. I'm too ashamed to look at Sachi now. Uh, thanks, Sachi. Yeah, if you want to touch them again, just ask. Wait, she actually wants me to touch them again? No. No way. I shouldn't have even touched them in the first place. Um, well, our food's here. Let's eat. Right. Hey, this is pretty good. How's yours? Mine's good, too. I'm glad we came here. You can confirm the creator as a thing for Scar's injuries? Okay. I kind of figured that since the heroine has, like, injuries all over herself, that they had a thing for it. Things got pretty awkward between us after that, and even normal conversation feels out of place. I think it's about time we headed to the movie. Okay. We finished lunch, and it seems like the awkward atmosphere between us has cleared up. I think we'll get there a little early, but at least we can get good seats this way. If we get back- if we get there too late, the seats will fill up, and we'll get stuck in the very back of the theater. Oh, would we? We head toward the place where the movie is being shown. We're not that far away though, so it only takes us a few minutes to get there. This is it. There are already people lining up? Looks like it. They'll probably let everyone in soon though. I can't wait to see the movie. Yeah, I hope it's a good one. The movie is less than two hours long, and we soon find ourselves out in front of the theater again. I stretch and breathe in the cool evening air, happy to be moving around again after sitting inside for, for so long. That movie was great, wasn't it? Yeah, better than I thought it was going to be. The story w was about a mischievous kid who gets put in a boarding school, makes some friends, and works with his teacher to make their school play a success. 
It's based off a children's book, so the whole thing is fun and lighthearted. We discuss what we thought of the movie. Sachi seems to have loved it, but eventually her voice gets quieter as she, and she starts hanging her head again. The main character sure had a lot of friends and a nice teacher, and they were able to win in a tough situation. It's a really nice story. Maybe if I was born a normal person, I'd be stronger like him. She gets quieter and quieter, and eventually I can barely make out what she's saying. I'm not sure if she's talking to me anymore. Hey, Sachi. Oh, yes? Earlier, you were saying how you wanted to repay me for what I've done for you, right? But you know, just getting to be with you is enough for me. Okay, time to go have fun on your date, frog. <laughs> Wait, my date? What, what, what date am I going on? I know I can't decide for her what she thinks, no matter how many times I say it. But we spent all day together. That shows how I feel pretty clearly, doesn't it? This one? <laughs> but our date's almost over. I know I've said this before, but I'm here for you no matter what. Anything you need, I'll help however I can. I don't know if I can be considered a good-natured person, but I can say for sure that I care for her from the bottom of my heart. What I felt when I first saw her can only be described as love at first sight. Ooh, he's got it bad! The more I tell Sachi how I feel, and the more time we spend together, the stronger our bond will get. I feel like I can't take my eyes off her now. I mean, not that I can help that much. I can't do what's impossible for me. And there are some things I won't do anyway. I don't want to impose on you, senpai. Sachi is as stubborn as always when it comes to another person helping her. I know I won't get her to just meekly accept this like she does with everything else. I'm not giving up though. Even if she doesn't want to impose on me, I want to be her- I want to be by her side. I want to make sure she can see keep smiling. Also that I can keep touching her scars because they're sexy. <laughs> okay, forget I said that. That was so fucking cursed. But thank you for the offer. I'm really glad that we got to meet Mamoru Senpai. I'm much happier now than I was before. But, you know, there are still a lot of fun things we can do. Oh, I know. I wanted to introduce you to my friends so we can all hang out together. Your friends? Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, totally. Trust me. They're good people. And besides, I've already told them about you. If you think it's okay, well, alright. I'll look forward to meeting them then. Oh no, Azriel! Oh no, d did that break the buttons? Great! Oh, we should probably start heading home, shouldn't we? It's not actually that late, but the sun is setting and it's starting to get dark. At this point, it's probably best to do what Sachi's aunt wanted and head straight home. Yes, it's getting late. Um, actually, can I ask a favor? Hmm? What do you need? Um, can we hold hands on the way home? Yeah, I think that's a favor I can grant. I take Sachi's hand in mine without hesitation. I feel the warmth of her hand as she squeezes mine, and suddenly it feels like the day when she'll let herself rely on me isn't so far off. Aww. Okay, you can do it with your Bluetooth earbuds? Yeah, that's good. And also, you could probably do it with, uh... You could probably do it with the UI, too. Cry one's eye out. Act five. There's three more acts left, guys. It took us almost two hours to get through one act. Oh, her side. Oh, is it starting from the beginning of the story on her side? The last bell rings and the school day ends, so I grab my bag and leave the classroom. Most of the time, I leave as quickly as I can because I don't want to get caught by Sadokawa-san. But today, it's because I want to hurry to meet Mamoru-senpai. Lately, coming to school has been something to look forward to, and I can't help but feel excited about it. It's even better because I keep running into senpai. The old me would never have believed it's possible to be this happy at school. That's not to say that Sadakawa-san has stopped bullying me. Sometimes Mamoru-senpai is there to intervene, but I don't know if that's actually been the best idea. Sadokawa has stopped bullying me as much as she used to, but now when she does it, her attacks are even more violent than before. Oh, fuck. 
Even so, I don't hate going to school anymore. The joy I feel when I spend time with Mamoru-senpai is so much more powerful than the sorrow brought on by those painful incidents. I couldn't meet up with senpai this morning, but he must have been thinking about me. He came to eat with me at lunch and stayed with me the whole lunch period. We talked about the movie we saw yesterday. I real oh okay, so this is after the movie, but from her side. I really had a lot of fun. The movie itself was interesting, but that was my first time seeing a movie with another person. I also had a lot of fun just walking around with him. Senpai wasn't upset at being seen with me in public either, and we even held hands when I asked. It was wonderful. Now that I think about it, that was a date yesterday, wasn't it? I wonder what Senpai thinks of that. I mean, he literally just confessed to you, right? He basically said that he enjoys spending time with you, and that's all he needs. Like, she doesn't have to do anything in return. I've been drinking a lot of water! This frog is staying hydrated, baby! Make piss woo! You know, unsurprisingly, I need a piss again, but I'm gonna hold it in for a bit. We'll see. <laughs> Cause, I, like, I just drank, like, a bunch of coffee before a stream and now- And I've been drinking a lot of water to keep my throat nice and moist. Now I just have to keep pissing! I really miss him and I want to see him again. I usually find him by the school's gates, but today, I want to meet him right at his classroom. I stand just outside the hallway so as to not attract any wandering eyes. If I see Mamoru-senpai, I'll call out to him. Second year students trickle out of the classrooms and head down the hallway without paying me any mind. I don't see senpai yet, though. Just as I'm worrying that I might have missed him, I overhear two second year students talking in the hallway. Everyone, every time I hear someone say make piss, I help, can't help but think of that one TikTok meme. Can't talk now, I'm making piss. I think I might have seen that too. <laughs> can't talk now, I'm making piss. Alright, time to go home. Wait, where's Makun? Oh, Mamoru said he couldn't find the handout and went to look in his locker for it. At any rate, he's going to go home with you know who again, so I doubt we'll be seeing him. This catches my attention. They're talking about Mamoru-senpai, I think. Is Makun his nickname? I guess those are his friends. Aw, really? We haven't gone home together in a long time. He's making me so sad. We never really went home with him in the first place, you know. We live in completely opposite directions. But it's the principle of the thing. We at least walked to the gates together, and now we don't even do that. It's because he's been spending so much time with that girl. Do they mean me? Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? It's no fair. How long is he gonna keep this up? I don't know how much longer I can survive like this. Just let him do what he wants to do. I'm sure he'll return to us when the time is right. Then again, it's been quite a while. Maybe we should find her ourselves. Oh ho, I can't believe it. Tomo agrees with me sometimes. Alert the media. Okay, tomorrow we'll go find her. I've got this all planned out. I start to feel an overwhelming tightness in my chest. I can feel my good move, mood dissolving rapidly. I can't bear to listen anymore and retreat down the stairs as quietly as I can. Aww! God, she's anxious. Finally, the day when Sachan will grace us with her presence is almost here. I've run simulations of our fateful meeting countless times in my head, so I'll be ready for anything. I'm totally prepared to be the super friendly older sister type person she needs. Oh, I think... Okay, so this is the whole, like, misunderstanding. Person overhears something and totally misunderstands the, the intents of the people who are talking. So they want to meet her so they can be friends with her. Um, but from what she overheard, she thinks they want to meet her so they can take her out because she's taking too much of their friend's time or something. Hey, Tomo, are you listening? Huh? Oh, I thought I saw someone just now. Yeah, I'm listening. Something about being a super annoying older sister, right? 
What? No, you did that on purpose. Yep, I sure did. You meanie. God, I hate misunderstandings like this. I hate it when anime does like the whole misunderstanding thing and makes that into a whole dramatic thing. <laughs> Even though it does happen sometimes, misunderstandings like that do happen actually quite a bit, but not necessarily in this fashion. I guess I really have stolen him from his other friends. I wonder if those are the friends he said he was going to introduce me to yesterday. He did say he told them about me. She said she couldn't survive like this? I guess she meant without Mamoru-senpai. Mamoru-senpai said it was okay to meet them, but now I don't know if that's really the case. Same? You, you don't like that either, Cabal? It just makes me so fucking frustrated. Just talk! <laughs> just talk, guys. Come on. His friends must hate him for spending so much time with me. I didn't realize how much trouble I've caused him. My heart feels heavy. My body feels heavier. Like the weight of this whole situation is dragging me down. My vision darkens. I don't have the strength to lift my head as I walk forward. The asphalt looks grayer than normal. Senpai's going to lose all his friends because of me. I can't let that happen. When I was with him, he let me forget my troubles. No, I only wanted to forget. I can never forget what I am. I only have one eye. No one could ever love a freak like me. No, Sachi! Sachi, no! The fact that Senpai was so nice to me made me so happy. And so, he let me forget. I can't let my misfortune infect him. I could never forgive myself if his life was ruined because of me. I couldn't survive if he ended up hating me. But maybe it's not too late. Maybe his life isn't ruined yet. Oh no, is she gonna ghost him? Is she gonna ghost him? He doesn't hate me yet. I have to act fast. Yesterday, Mamoru-senpai said he would be there for me if I needed him, but I can't let him sh shoulder my burdens. If I had let him, I wouldn't be able to save him. I was so happy- and, and you know what? I understand her- I understand her thinking. This is the thinking of someone who has really low self-confidence. I was so happy when he said it. I suppose it was good that I was at a loss for words then. Even so, I'll always remember the kindness she showed me. Why are you talking in the past tense? He bought me my cell phone strap too. At least I have this to remember him by. When things go wrong again, at least I'll have this to bring back all the good memories. Like yesterday, and all the time I spent with Senpai, and his kind voice. If I have that much at least, I'll be okay. I'll be okay even if I have to let- If I have to- If all I have left of him is his memory. Before I realize it, the school is far behind me, and I've wandered onto one of the side streets I usually take to get home. I find I can barely stand, and I lean against the telephone pole, still staring at the ground. Rain is starting to fall. The sun is out, but that doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, it is pretty cruel. A black sheen seems to ooze over the asphalt as it drinks in the heavy drops. Heh, <laughs> that's strange. Every day for the past few weeks has been bright and sunny. I've gotten so used to that. I almost forgot what it's like when it rains. No! I have to do it. I have to say goodbye to Senpai. My vision blurs as the heavy drops continue to fall. Your side. I stay in class longer than I meant to today. Sachi's probably been waiting for me for a while. I'm usually the first one out the door, sometimes leaving a little too early. But Sachi always beats me to the school gates, since her classroom is closer to them than mine is. I understand your frustrations, Cabal. I'm also just like... Wah, 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 wah. I change my shoes and rush out of the school. Sachi usually comes running to meet me when she sees me walking to the gates, but now I'm past it and Sachi's nowhere to be found. Did she already go home? I scan the street for any sign of her and see that she's still only a little ways ahead of me, though it doesn't look like she's noticed me yet. Sorry, I didn't mean to take so... Sachi? She turns to me. Her face is almost parallel to the ground, and her usual smile has been replaced with a much darker look. Has she been crying? Mamoru-senpai, 
Thank you for... <laughs> she just, just hits him, hits him with this. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. But I'll be fine on my own from now on. I don't mind going home and having lunch by myself, so... Yeah, just internal screaming. So much that I'm just fucking laughing. This is so funny. This is so suffering. This is so much suffering. Sachi's voice wavers, and I'm certain something bad must have happened to her if she's saying this. I take a step toward her, determined to find out what. What are you saying all of a sudden? Did Sadokawa do something to you again? No, she's not involved. I just think it's best if you have nothing to do with me. That's all. What? I don't understand why you think that. There's nothing to understand. Her head is still down, but her voice is fraying, becoming hysterical. If this is another trick, it's not funny. I'm here with you because I want to be. Do you really want to be alone at school again? Stop, please. At least tell me why. Sachi turns her back to me and starts running away before I can even finish. Wait! I run after her, sprinting. Okay, at least he's fast, a faster runner than her. And catch her by the shoulder. We come to a stop and I forcibly turn her to face me, but she refuses to look at me. Please stop. I know you're set on being my friend, but if you do, I... She looks up at me. Her face is sopping wet from the giant tears streaming from her eye. I don't know what you're trying to say, but like I said, if something happened, tell me. Your friends, they hate that you hang out with me. Okay, at least the misunderstanding didn't last that long. Like, it, it got resolved in like an hour. My friends? I did tell her I'd introduce the, her to Akimi and Tomo, but I can't imagine they'd ever say something like that. Which friends were these? Did you actually talk to them? They never say something like that. You must have misunderstood something. You're the one misunderstanding. Will you still think that that when your friends... Sorry. Will you still think that when your friends abandon you? If you stay friends with me, you'll lose everything. They won't abandon me. But any friend who does is not someone I want to be friends with anyway. Why do you have to be so nice? Stop it. It's already hard enough to accept that you're going to abandon me yourself. Wait, what? <laughs> He's probably just like, what? What, girl? Come on. I'm not gonna abandon you either. Never. Why do you have to say things like that? Do you want to be my friend so badly that you throw your whole life away? Why? I don't get it. Sachi, shh. 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 It's okay. Yes, I do. I want to be your friend forever. But why? It's stupid. Can't you trust that I have a good reason for doing this? I can't believe you would do something so stupid, senpai. She trails off. I know what she wants me to say, and I know I can't say it. I have to tell her everything that's on my mind. I didn't realize it until just now, but I know why I want to be with her. <laughs> Hold Sachi still, yet gentle, like Borger. I... I love you, Sachi. Huh? <laughs> Going to the movie yesterday, together yesterday? That was more or less a date. I guess you didn't realize it. What? That... I understand if you hate me. Of course I don't hate you, senpai. I really like you. I love you. If that's true, don't tell me to abandon you. I'm happy when I'm with you, and I can never dream of abandoning you. Watching Rise of Gru with Sachi unlocked our true feelings. We knew right then, after seeing all those minions and seeing her. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Oh, they're talking about our date. Our date with Sachi when we went to watch a movie, but we're saying that the movie was Rise of Gru. Just tell each other that you both love each other! Well, thankfully they did. Really? You're really happy? with me? I really am. I know I couldn't stand it if you abandoned me then, but I'm only going to cause you trouble. That's fine. As long as you're by my side, I can handle any trouble that comes our way. S senpai Oh, the movie segment? Yeah, they skipped over the actual movie part. They just were like, okay, we're going to movie. Scene skip. Okay, movie is done. <laughs> 
I go to her and take her into my arms, and she starts crying her eye out. She sobs into my chest for a long while. When she finally calms down, I wipe away her tears. It's time we started heading home. She told me about my friends who, from the sound of it, were definitely Tomo and Akemi, and what she heard them saying. You didn't see the two hour cutscene that was just a bootleg copy of Rise of Group playing? <laughs> yeah, we were there for the whole time. You're a huge cryberry bitch when it comes to romance? Oh, are you tearing up, Asriel? Yeah, that was like a really moving scene. I... I... I would be even more, um... moved by it if the misunderstanding didn't happen. Like the whole, like, she overheard her friends and stuff like that. Uh, overheard his friends. But I'm glad that they finally admitted that they loved each other. Hmm, that doesn't seem like something they'd say. You must have misunderstood something. I'll ask them about it tomorrow, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, I said. Even if you heard them right, I won't abandon you. Thank you. She's still upset, but there's genuine relief in her voice. We soon arrive at Sachi's house. As she removes her face from his shirt, she is printed on his shirt. I. <laughs> I'll deal with my friends, don't worry. See you tomorrow, okay? Okay, um, senpai? Yes? Um, can I... can I be your girlfriend? Do you want to? Yes! Well then, I guess this is the official start of our relationship. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. They're finally together, guys! <laughs> finally, after like fucking five acts, five of seven acts, but at least there's- it seems like there's two more acts left, so they're gonna be in a relationship? So we get to see them actually be in the relationship for two chapters of the story. Which is nice, because, you know, with like some romance- romance anime and stuff, as soon as you're together with them, you only get like an epilogue and- Or like, you don't actually see them together. It's nice seeing people in an actual loving relationship interacting. I zoned out after the part of them getting the tickets and him talking to- Oh, okay, their actual date part? Wait, did you not see the part where he was rubbing her scars and it got really weird? It's not official till they exchange business cards yet. Wow! wow. Hey, Opalai! Yeah, me too. Or, yeah, me too. Sachi looks so happy throughout this whole awkward exchange. It makes me that much happier seeing her like that, and I smile back at her. Um, then see you tomorrow? Oh, <laughs> then you blanked out again. The hand rubbing was just very exceptional. Yep, see you tomorrow. Oh, everyone! The next day, lunchtime. I'm eating with Tomo and Akemi in our usual spot, the empty classroom. But this time, we've got a fourth, fourth person joining us. Um, I'm Usui Sachi. Nice to meet you. Ochiai Tomoyori, a pleasure. I'm Tsunemi Akemi. Nice to meet ya. Sorry about yesterday. I guess you were the one I saw running away. Now that I review how our conversation went, I can see how you could have misunderstood our intentions. It was a thing. Yeah, it was it was a thing. Cause I was like, yeah, they're gonna describe it a little bit, right? And then just move on. But then they kept describing the scars, and I was just like. Hmm. <laughs> I want to see her in a bougie-ash pretty, pretty up dress. I also want to see her in pretty clothes. Yeah, we're really sorry. We don't hate you, Satchan. Not even a little bit. It's okay. I was the one eavesdropping when I shouldn't have been, and I almost... And I almost caused trouble between you two and Mamoru-senpai. Please forgive me. This morning, I told Tomo and Akemi about what happened yesterday, and Sachi definitely misunderstood what they meant. They didn't even- they didn't want to get her out of my life, of course. They just really wanted to meet her. In fact, I'd say it worked out perfectly, since it gave us an excuse to bring Sachi to the classroom for lunch. Well, I don't think there's any ill will between us now, so I hope we can be friends from here on out. Right, right! Actually, when I heard about what happened, I knew I just had to meet you right away and make it right between us, Sachan. So yeah, let's be friends! Yes, I like that. Um, Sachan? 
come on, if you're gonna be a, a bother to her, at least wait until she knows you better. I'm not being a bother to her. So yeah, do you mind if I call you Sachan? Your name's Sachi, so Sachan is the perfect nickname. You love my scars, and whenever I accidentally cut myself or burn myself while, cut it, while cooking, I don't know why, but it's very soothing. Yeah, it, it can be soothing um, to like rub scars and stuff. I do have a few, but uh, yeah, that scene was just... I, I just knew that <laughs> it was there for a reason, and it was there for the author's reason. Symbol of a grim reminder for me? Yeah, that can also be like a bad reminder, too. Um, okay, sure. Yay, thanks! Oh yeah, so you can call me whatever you want, okay? Okay, then, Akemi Senpai? Do you really have to be so formal? How about Achan or Akemi? Cut it out, she's already got enough to deal with right now. Tomo, help me out here. What do you want me to do? Stop Akemi from being Akemi? The two of us can't really get a word in edgewise while Akemi's going on like this. So Tomo starts plugging and rampaging Akemi's mouth. A what? <laughs> With food from her lunchbox like he did last time this happen happen happened. That's a really weird way to describe it. Plugging and rampaging her mouth with food? <laughs> Akemi's always too loud and Tomo doesn't have the best manners. But I promise they're good people. Alchemy? <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, don't talk about us like we're not right in front of- <laughs> Akemi's recovering from Tomo's intervention more quickly than usual, but Tomo's ready for it, and he crams more food into her mouth as soon as she opens it. Those two have gotten pretty close. Full Metal Akemi! Full Metal Akemi! <laughs> Sorry, it's not easy keeping those two in check. If they get out of hand, just tell them to shut up. And no, I couldn't. It's fine, they're used to it. You just have to show them who's boss. We're not animals, you know. You shouldn't listen to boys who say such mean things, Sachan. Be friends with me instead. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Even though Sachi shies away from the rampaging Akemi, she's smiling a little. She does look like she's having fun. Maybe she won't have such a hard time getting used to us after all. I know, since we're all trying to get to show get to know Sachan better, why don't the four of us go out this weekend? Akemi, don't pressure her into things. I'm not pressuring her. So, what do you two think? Huh? So soon after meeting you guys? Are you sure? That's the second force feeding in this VN. Well, actually, I think th uh, the force feeding happened near the beginning, because he was talking about like how Tomo was doing it again to Akemi to get her to sh shut up. So this is actually the third. I don't see why not, but where would we go? Wait, who said that? Hmm, oh, I just remembered that there was some kind of event happening in town. It's got food stands and everything. <laughs> really? I didn't hear about anything like that. What kind of event are we talking about? He's practiced, yeah, after being, I think, Aren't they childhood friends, Akemi and Tomo? So he's probably used to getting her to shut up like that. <laughs> no idea. Akemi, what the hell? Okay, entire VN. Um, I love you, Sachi, and Akemi, what the hell? <laughs> Just summed up in two lines. By saw it on a flyer on some bulletin board somewhere. They even had a picture of the food stands. Well, if it's a festival, we probably won't even have to use much money anyway, so why don't we just go check it out? If it's just in town, we can even walk there without too much trouble. Right, right! I'll even find out where and when, and we'll all be set. Hmm, I don't know. Sachi, are you okay with this? Yeah, I want to go. Thank you for doing all this for me. Don't worry about it. We're going to hang out a lot more after this, aren't we? I guess we're finally going out as a group. This is bas basically a double date, isn't it? I don't think that's really what Akemi intended, but she and Tomo are almost a couple no matter how you look at it. Come to think of it, I haven't really explained my relationship with Sachi to these two yet. Not that I've been meaning to hide it, but I should probably clear that up right away. Oh right, so Tomo, it looks like you were right about the reason I was fussing over Sachi so much. I see, did you tell her? Yeah, it went well. I see, well, congratulations. 
What are you two talking about? Oh, uh... How do I answer that? Like I said, I'm not exactly trying to hide it. But I have a feeling Akimi would go crazy over me admitting that I have a crush. And I don't know if Sashi can deal with that. I'll tell you about it later. Thanks, Tomo. Wait, what? I guess I don't mind if you tell me later, but now I'm really curious. Um, senpai? Sachi doesn't seem to get it either, and she looks up at me with a puzzled expression. I'll tell you about it later as well. Well, it may take, might take some time, but I'm sur sure Sachi will be comfortable around these two soon enough. What did you think of Akemi and Tomo? Not too bad, right? Not at all. Tomo Senpai seemed a little scary at first, but I realized that he wasn't scary at all once I started talking to him. Akimi Senpai is really cheerful and lively, and they're both really nice. Akimi wanted to walk home with Sachi and me after school, but her and Tomo's houses are in the opposite direction. As Tomo was dragging her off, she waved at Sachi and yelled, See you tomorrow! And we started heading home ourselves, taking the same path we usually do. You know, if she's bothering you, there's nothing wrong with telling her so. She certainly has a lot of energy, but I really like being around her. If I could talk to people as easily as she does, I think I'd be really happy. I'm glad that you like her so much then. I think you'll get used to her quirks. To be honest, I haven't known them that long myself. I've never had plans for the weekend though, aside from our... Anyway, I'm looking forward to going out with everyone. It's going to be great! Akimi came up with a good plan this time, it seems. But yeah, let loose and have fun. Okay, I'll try. Don't try to have fun, just, you know, have fun. That's not what I meant, it's just I have a lot to worry about now. What do you mean? We're going to be hanging out with other people, so I don't want to look all shabby like this, with my clothes all tattered and stuff, since I'm, uh, your, uh, good girlfriend now, I mean. I can't change my face, and I don't have any stylish clothes, but I can at least brush my hair and cover up my wounds. Well, yeah, that wouldn't hurt. I think I should take off my bandage. Off the bandage on my head, too. Oh, right, senpai. Yes? Do you, uh, want to touch my scar? Huh? I think I didn't think she'd ever bring that up again. I'm not really sure what to say. The one on my forehead, I mean. It doesn't hurt anymore, so it's fine. Do you want to touch it? It's fine if you want to touch it. Do you? Okay, I gotta take a drink of water. But I guess she- I guess she has a scar on her forehead? I don't know why that would require her to, like, bandage up her whole head, though. That, uh, I mean, last time you let me- it was because you wanted to repay me. Is that what you're doing now? I'm still grateful you grateful to you, Mamoru Senpai, and I still want to repay you, but I'm your uh, girlfriend, so this time it's because I want to make you happy. Turns out she has two eyes. They're just over just over another instead of side by side, and the upper one was tiny and above the big little bigger lower eye. <laughs> she has the eye on her forehead. Oh, well, thanks. That does make me happy. I know it's a weird thing to ask. You don't have to if you don't want to. Just forget it. No, no, I do want to. The words came out of my mouth before I could stop myself. Okay. She seems set on it. I guess I can't get out of this. I know she wants to do something nice for me, but isn't this kind of strange? Not that I don't have any interest in touching her scars, but... Wait, are we doing this here? Aren't we on the way home from school? I guess we are on a street without anyone else around, but... Oh, um... Ah, this way, senpai. She takes me by the hand and leads me into a narrow alleyway between two buildings. Hey, uh... Okay, can you take off my bandage, please? She leans her bag against the nearby wall and then looks at me expectantly. Moving here hasn't really changed anything. It'll just be a lot stranger if anyone happens upon us. They're just in an alleyway and he's touching her forehead. <laughs> and anyone who walks past this alleyway probably will be able to see us. The space between Sachi and me suddenly seems almost solid. Solid? But I force myself to wade through, 
way through it as she keeps her eye focused on me. All right, just a sec. <laughs> so my Cy Cyclops girlfriend thinks I have a scar fetish, the title of the light novel sequel to this. <laughs> She's like, oh, he'll be happy if he touches my scars because he likes them. I can't help but hesitate a bit, but after a moment, I steal myself. I put my own bag down next to Sachi's and face her. Right, I have to take off her bandages first, I guess. I reach my hand towards Sachi's bandages and begin to unfasten them as Sachi tilts her head forward and closes her eye. I'm only taking off her bandages, but she suddenly looks completely vulnerable. I start to feel... Feel like I'm about to... Violate her somehow. Okay? I begin to unravel the bandages from her head, looping them around my head and my hand so they won't fall to the floor. As I remove more and more of the wrapping, the gauze beneath it begins to show. Finally I get to the last the last of it off and I discard what I've collected on top of our stuff. She looks really cute. <laughs> this <laughs> I'll make him love me more. <laughs> Why is she? Wait. Uh, I forget how. Let me actually save. We gone through a lot. Oh yeah, here it is. She's like holding the shirt or something. Damn, she's short. With the bandages off her head, and Sachi, uh, Sachi opens her eye and looks up at me. I look down to meet her eye as it gleams wetly from the faint light that penetrates the alley. Gazing at the upturned eye before me, I suddenly feel like I'm falling into it. The feeling is so intense, and I can't tear myself away from that black pit. Go ahead. She shuts her eye again, closing what little distance is left between us. She puts her hand to my chest and leans onto me. Her touch takes me by surprise, but after a moment I put my own hand on her shoulder. I smooth over her messy hair with my free hand and brush her bangs away from her eye. I feel her shoulder tense as I run my fingers over her hair. She must be as nervous as I am. The scar that was hidden beneath the bandages is on the right side of her head just below her hairline. That line of the wound has started to turn purple like a bruise, but the wound itself, a slanted cut, has all but closed up. Oh, uh, okay, I see the scar now. I didn't... It kind of blended in with her hair. The cut isn't actually that big, but the dark outline makes it worse than it is. I steady my hand over her temple and gently brush my finger over the wound, trying my best not to hurt her. As I slide my hand over her face, she lets out the breath she'd been holding, and the strength seems to drain out of her. I feel the weight of her slight body press on my chest as she leans into me more, but I keep my hand steady. I trace the wound, making sure to be even more careful than I was with the one on her hand. The heart of this wound is rough in contrast to its smoother edges, and my fingers seem to keep coming back to it. Sachi suddenly seems completely exhausted, and her shoulder shudders beneath my hand. What? What is- okay, so I know- that's how visual novels work, and they try to make things, like, m more sexual than they actual are, actually are, but, like... He's just touching her scar. I, I guess she just really enjoys people touching, like, touching her scar or something. The hand over her wound freezes up. Sachi opens her eye and looks up at me again. I'm okay. And again, she seems to lose all her strength all but collapsing into my arms. I start stroking the wound once more, and after a little while, she begins to shudder whenever my fingers make contact with her skin. She's so cute. I'm just touching her wound, but starting to feel like I'm doing much more than that to her. Yes, 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 okay. Sachi, huddle in my arms as she is, be seems so drained. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is this supposed to be sexual? Is this supposed to be sex? Oh, yeah, it is. It's like she doesn't even have enough strength to stand up anymore, and I'm the only thing supporting her. Thanks, uh... F oh, at least it was pretty short. Thanks, uh, for that. I think I'm satisfied. Yeah, right, really. I don't know what I might have done if we hadn't stopped. I wanted to stay like that so badly. Her pressed 
against me with her my arms arms wrapped around her, but I had to end it. Sachi Sachi is asexual. She's scar sexual. She really loves people touching her scars. Oh, okay. Sachi seems reluctant to separate from me. She stares up at me longingly. For several moments, neither of us can tear ourselves away from each other's gaze, but I force myself to break away. I gather our bags up off the floor and hand Sachi's over to her. Here you go. Oh, thank you. We exit the narrow alleyway with Sachi's bandages in tow and start heading home again. Um, senpai? Yeah? Did you, uh, like it? Oh, yeah, I did. Thanks. <laughs> you can touch it anytime you want, senpai. Sure. I feel like I might lose my mind if this sort of thing keeps happening. I can't ask her to let me do that again. <laughs> he's he's awakening something. <laughs> something is awakening in him. So the two of us walk on in silence, unsure of what to say to each other. I keep glancing at Sachi out of the corner of my eye, and eventually I catch her doing the same to me. When our gazes meet, we both remain silent, but Sachi smiles broadly. I can't help but return the smile, though I feel really embarrassed and quickly look straight ahead. This silly incident repeats itself a few times before we finally arrive at Sachi's house. Yeah, he's eye curious. <laughs> he's like, mmm, I feel like I might like this. Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Just as we're about to go our separate ways, the front door to Sachi's house opens, and we both torn turn towards it reflexively. Mayumi is standing there in the doorway, not looking at all surprised, and she walks br briskly over to us. Welcome home, Sachi. Good afternoon, Mamoru-kun. Hello, um, Mayumi-san. I stand there, dazed. She spares me a quick glance before turning to Sachi. Sachi, I know you just got home, but I'd like you to do some shopping for me. Uh... Uh, yes, I'll go change my clothes. No need. I prefer if you do I prefer if you do it right away. Here's a list of everything I need and some money. Just go to the convenience store. It should only take 10 minutes or so, I think. Uh, okay. Um, see you tomorrow, senpai. Sachi, oblivious, takes the note Mayumi handed her and starts off, almost running towards the convenience store. What the hell? What was the point of having her do that? Mayumi didn't really look like she was in a hurry to get whatever it was she sent Sachi for. Come to think of it, why didn't she at least wait until I was gone to send Sachi out? Oh, does she want to talk to him? Uh, I'll be going now. Sachi's gone shopping and I don't have any reason to be here anyway. I guess I'll head home and... Wait a moment, if you win, Mamoru-kun. I'd like to talk to you. Huh? To me? Well, now I can't leave. What could she possibly want to talk to me about, though? Yes, to you. Uh, what for? Have you been touching my daughter's scar? <laughs> my <laughs> Sachi scars? <laughs> Yesterday, Sachi came home looking like she had been crying her eye out. I'd like to know why, and I think you might be able to tell me. C crying? Sachi didn't tell you? Well, I hear quite a bit from her, you know. There is one thing I'd like to hear from you, though. Are you teasing her with all this? Having fun at her expense? What? No, I would never do- Really? Yes, I swear. I see. Well, if that's the truth, I'm glad to hear it. But I wonder, do you think you can take care of her? Oh, I guess her aunt actually cares for her. What? Yes, I do. What do you mean by that? I assume you know that Sachi and I do not have the best relationship. I think it might be irresponsible of me to ask this of you, but I'd like to be- I'd like you to be someone she can rely on. Does that mean you're not willing to let her rely on you? No, I was not implying that. It's just that I don't think she's willing to do so any longer. Sachi is... You're saying she doesn't want to be around you? That she doesn't trust you? Okay, there's a misunderstanding going on between the aunt and Sachi. Yes, that is more or less what she has said. It's understandable, however. Has Sachi told you about her mother? My sister? Yes, a bit. The two of us were inseparable as children. When she was on her deathbed, she begged me to take care of Sachi after she was gone, and so I adopted her child. Sachi said something like that as well. At the time, my line of thinking was that Sachi was the reason my sister's husband, husband had disappeared, and she had worked herself to death. None of that's Sachi's fault, though. In the back of my mind, I knew the girl was innocent, 
but I had just lost my beloved sister, and I had no one to blame but her, so I convinced myself that she was responsible. I never told her that I blamed her, but I'm sure she knew it nonetheless, and she soon began to keep her head down even in the house. After that, there was no conversation between us beyond the bare minimum. I behaved like a child. I tried to involve her in my life as little as possible, and she did the same to me. She had just lost her mother. I was too ca caught up in my own grief, too selfish to spare even one kind word for her. Thinking back, it truly is it is a truly shameful way to have behaved. But once she got to high school, she started coming home with numerous cuts and bruises. It was then that I realized I had neglected my beloved sister's final wish. I knew then that I had let her down. But if you realize that, why didn't you try to help her? I did try. I wanted to know what was happening to her, of course, but she only told me that she had fallen, that nothing had happened to her, and now it's too late for me to help her. She's more forthcoming with essentially, essentially a stranger? Yeah, probably because she doesn't have any baggage with that stranger. But she changed, you know, after she met you. Me? Yes, at first I was cautious of you, thinking that you might be the one responsible for her injuries. I'm sorry I was not more amiable the last time we met. Oh, yeah, no problem. I guess that's why she was so overbearing back then. A lot of fucking baggage. She does seem less uptight compared to last time. Her stare was so icy then. Totally different from how she is now. Although, I suppose she was ready to accuse me of hurting Sachi from the moment she met me. Ever since the day I first saw you in front of our house, that girl has been smiling more than ever before. She goes back to staring at the ground as soon as, as, soon as she notices me. Knows it, blah, 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 blah. Water. As soon as she notices me, of course. Yeah, com complete change, although her expression hasn't changed that much. I really need a pee. Like, I really, really need a pee. Even though I'm trying to finish this chapter so I can end stream, but I really need a pee. But still, when I gave her money on the day you two, ch two went out, she was the happiest I'd ever seen her. She even thanked me several times. Go pee, okay, I'll be right back. I really need a pee. I am back. I am back. I have peed. Drinkant. Non-sum. Unsum the water. <laughs> Drinkant the water. I'd never seen her like that before, and it actually startled me. But her face at that time, delighted as she was, was nothing less than adorable. That was the first time she had ever asked something of me as well. It made me quite happy. And all that is thanks to you. So you don't hate Sachi then, I take it? I do not. 
I thought I did for a long time, however, and I'm paying for that now. If you're admitting all of this to me now, why not tell it all to Sachi, too? I'm not sure she'd be willing to listen even if I tried. I'm the source of many bitter memories for her, you know? I think she'd listen. She's grateful to you for taking care of her. She just doesn't want to cause you any trouble. She told me that herself. But I don't know how I could possibly connect with her after everything I've done. Mayumi looks away from me, suddenly looking very troubled. She seems fixed on something, and I follow her line of sight to the street corner to see Sachi walking towards us, her head down once again. Looks like it's time to wrap this up. Yeah, welcome back! Thank you. You could you could do this by talking. Connect by talking to her. Just talk. Mamoru-kun, please keep everything I've told you a secret from Sachi. Sachi feels guilty about me being a about being a burden on Mayumi, and Mayumi feels guilty about how she treated Sachi. But both of these issues have all but resolved themselves, haven't they? Somehow, even though Sachi has changed, Mayumi's attitude toward her has not, or at least. Mayumi hasn't let Sachi catch on to that, catch on that it has, and I think Mayumi wants to keep it that way for some reason. Now that I think about it, she must have sent Sachi shopping so she could talk to me alone. She made a list of things she didn't really need just so she could send Sachi away and buy them. Was she just waiting by the door for us to get here? If that's the case, she must have been planning to talk to me for, from the start. Mayumi-san, I think Sachi will tell you herself, but I was planning to take her out with some of my friends this weekend. Oh my, are you? I shouldn't have I shouldn't have anything to worry about if they're your friends, right? Of course I'll let her go. Thank you. When I talked about it with her, she said she wished she had some nicer, nicer clothing. She never asked you, of course, but... I see. Mayumi-san, I got what you wanted, but... Huh? Mamoru-senpai? You're still here? Okay, that's good that you could still take uh, you can still take some screenshots, but it sucks that your tablet can't. Yeah, don't ask for secrecy on this. Sachi's hand hands the bag full of things she bought to Mayumi. I was just having a little chat with your friend. That's all, Sachi. I've got some more shopping to do. D did I get everything you needed? Hmm. Oh yes, thank you. There seems to be several items in the plastic bag. It looks like Mayumi had her buy a bag of candy, a few pens, that sort of thing. Kind of a strange shopping list. She could have at least tried to make it a little more sensible. I need I need you to come along, so go change out of your uniform. Huh? Uh, okay. Where are we going? To buy you some clothes. I've got some other things to take care of as well. Now, if you'll excuse us, Mamoru-kun. Right. C clothes? F for me? Why? Oh, or... See you tomorrow, Ma Mamoru Senpai. Yeah, see you. The two of them hurry back into their house, leaving me alone. Time to go home. Maybe she's not quite as clever as I thought. Whatever. We cleared up the misunderstanding between us. Misunderstandings between us, and she doesn't seem like a bad person, so we'll be fine. Probably. to one's eye. Okay. <laughs> we finally finished that uh, act. So we have two more left for next Saturday. And I am all talked out. I am all talked out today. My mouth feels like... Does not have the display over apps function like it's been disabled. Could you try re-enabling it? She asked Sachi to buy her some Jim Beam bourbon, some swizzle sticks, and eight pounds of gummy bears. <laughs> I just I just need these things. I really need them. I need them now. But thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Switch it to Wumbo mode. But yeah, I'm gonna end stream here because I need to get ready to drive back home. I might be a little bit late to Ubu if it starts at 5, or starts in like 27 minutes. Um, but yeah, I do want to like head home and get settled there, 
Maybe I'll pack some more tonight. But, uh... I do hope that... Bebop, I do hope your computer isn't stupid. I do hope that your computer doesn't decide to shit itself. But, thank you guys for coming to stream! Thank you! Thank you for coming to hang out! Today was fun. It was nice reading some more of this visual novel, even though it has some... some steamy scenes. Do you want us to wait for you to start? Um... Uh... I'm not sure, because CZ wants to do that thing at 7. So, like, I think it's better if you guys start at 5, just because PPV can be a bit longer than usual uwu. Usual uwu sessions. So... Uh, just in case it does last the full time that it usually does. Uh, I wouldn't want to like eat into into the time that CZ wants to wants to do his thing. So it's fine if you guys start without me. I'll join whenever I can. Yeah, congrats on 400! It's always fun, hang fun hanging out with you, Doodle. Thank you, Asriel. It's really fun hanging out with y'all too. That's why I do this. <laughs> thoughts and, and drivers for Bebop's PC. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for your PC. Um, let me see if I want to raid anyone. Let's see. Let's see who is online. I will scoot y'all off. Yeah, congrats on 400. So we'll probably do the 400 uh, follower... 400 follower celebration stream. Probably in August. And... Um, Maybe I can combine it with the 3D model debut. I don't know if I want to make the 3D model debut like a huge debut like stream, like huge debut like celebration. Maybe I could do it like what Koro did for they de their debut. Because Koro's debut was really chill and, and fun. Well, let's see, who is Ray? Who's streaming? Yeah, do what I want. Do what I want. Oh, it looks like Soft Jewels is streaming. Uh, I have no idea what she's doing. But Soft Jewels streams are usually a good time. So I'm just gonna scooch y'all off to Soft Jewels. And I'll probably head out right after that. I, w I won't be able to even lurk just because I need to, like, pack and, and drive. Hee <laughs> hee, Koro! Yeah, your debut was very nice. But, um, let's see. For the raid message, as usual, if you have my emotes, feel free to send that raid message over when you raid. If you don't have my raid, if you don't my, have my emotes, feel free to send this raid message over. I'll see y'all on the other side, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I'll see y'all later for the events in the Discord, or talk to you later. Whoa! Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Oh. And thank you for coming to the stream. Thank you for hanging out with me. 